the next moon, again, we're going straight back to Saturn again, because Jupiter and Saturn actually have the most moons, and obviously the largest ones as well. So I'm going to go for Dione this time. Now, this one here is kind of a two-toned moon. It has a dark hemisphere and a light hemisphere, and it's tidally locked, which means that one side always faces towards Saturn as it orbits around. It's like our moon. As it goes around the Earth, you always see one side. It's always facing towards us because it's tidally locked. A lot of moons are like that, and Dione is no exception. Now, the reason why it's two-tone is the leading face is traveling forward through space, and that gets hit more by objects. It's more cratered. It makes it dark. It basically collects space debris. And on the opposite side, it's quite light. And the reason for that is it collects icy material from the E-ring. Now, the E-ring is created by Enceladus, one of Saturn's other moons that we did a, a, a short chocolate tasting of previously and it's throwing out ice particles into space which then create this ring. Dion then moves in the ring, it collects it and that makes the back half of it kind of lighter, it's icy. So we've got a dark side and a light side and chocolate wise I've gone for a duo. So here we have this vanilla and strawberry. So I'm expecting a two-tone one inside and that will represent the darker side and also the lighter side. Now the two flavours, strawberries and vanilla, are not necessarily dark and light, but it will give us a two-tone. And the reason why I've gone for this flavour-wise is that Dion itself is a fairly calm moon, it's placid, so the flavours don't represent any kind of intense volcanic activity going off. Now it did used to have some geological activity, which is still evident on its surface. However, right now it's fairly calm and placid, so that's kind of why I've gone for fairly soft flavours. And yeah, basically it's two-tone and hopefully the chocolate is as well. So let's kind of have a look inside and see how well this batches up. So there we go. We've got those two distinct layers there. We've got one hemisphere of the moon and the other have very different, not necessarily colours, but one's very dark, one's very light. So for me, that represents it quite well. I've squeezed it, actually. And the flavours themselves represent kind of the calmness of the moon. Again, it's not intensely active like Io or Europa or Enceladus, which actually have these kind of volcanoes, either cryovolcanoes or more typical volcanoes. So again, another one for me that kind of matches up quite well. 